Today I fucked up by having eggplant issues, as a lesbian. ETA. It was not the actual eggplant, for the record, it was the ring that's used to attach it. Post censored because rules. This was resolved about 5 minutes ago, and I am now posting from my phone I will do my best with the formatting. My girlfriend and I are renting an RV through Airbnb while she's visiting for her birthday. We've had a long day. Making dinner was an ordeal. Cooking a new recipe, with a DHD, in a tiny and unfamiliar kitchen, and we're ready for some, relaxation. Part of our equipment needed to be cleaned first, so she took it into the bathroom and cleaned it in the sink. Then she asked me to dry it, and here is where the fuck up happened. I was across the room, so I told her to throw it to me. She throws me the piece. I reach out to catch it. It sails over my head and lands on the floor in the kitchen. Where it slides under the fridge, all the way to the back. Face. Meat palm. We spend the next 20 minutes jabbing around under the fridge. Carefully, with a broom. Some clothes hangers. The stick I use to prop up the hood of my car. A couple of the aforementioned items tied together with an extension cord. Nothing is working. The piece we lost is the most important part of a harness, and there is no backup or substitute. We are absolutely falling over ourselves with laughter, making joke after joke about not being able to keep it up and losing our equipment, and really highlighting the irony of having these issues with a plastic piece. I keep giggling over the wet spot on the floor where it landed before it slid into oblivion. I finally found an extension for the broom in the cabinet over the fridge, and we pushed it to one side where we made more room to maneuver it. TLDR. Lost my eggplant under the fridge in a rental. Shenanigans ensued, whereupon the equipment was retrieved. Happy ending for all. Lol. Glad to see even lesbians have erectile dysfunction. I've had one for a while. They do weird shit. This doesn't surprise me. Could you just imagine the embarrassment if you couldn't get it and you had to leave it? Worrying about what the owners were gonna think when they found it down the road. OMG, I would have died lol. This is a great story. I am in charge of cleaning my wife's and I's toys. At one point I lost one of the butt plugs, no idea where it went. We were so paranoid that our daughter would find it. I hope you enjoy your time with your GF. How big is that fridge? Question mark. Most times, you probably could have just rolled the fridge out. Many fridges are on wheels or tracks to be rolled out for cleaning. Just a future FYI in case you lose something else of importance under anything is give a solid tug and see if it moves easily. So you can't say dildo or a penis. I feel like this ISNT really a fuck up. You just lost something under the fridge and then found it again. Today I fucked up by ending my younger brother's first relationship. I, 21F, accidentally ruined my brother's relationship yesterday and I feel awful. For context, my brother, 17M, has been dating his girlfriend, 17F, for six months, and they're seniors in high school. At the beginning of December, my brother received an offer of admission to his dream college, 2H away. When he told his girlfriend he was admitted, she had a complete meltdown. I wasn't there, that's just what he told me. My parents urged him to accept the offer, but he was hesitant because she would kill him, his words. A few days later, he accepts the offer, and my whole family goes for dinner to celebrate. He's wanted to go there for years and had to work really hard to get his grades up, so we were all really proud of him. His girlfriend was at our house almost every day over the holidays, and everything seemed normal. She's never been particularly friendly to my parents or I, probably just shy, but we always make an effort to hang out with her. Yesterday, the two of them asked me to drive them somewhere because neither of them have their driver's licenses. While I was driving them, I mentioned to my brother that he should get his license before he goes away to college, otherwise he will be out of practice and it will be harder to pass because he won't have access to a car in college. He quietly agreed, and then I followed up by saying that driving in the city he's moving to is much busier than driving in our small town, my worst offense. I could feel the tension in the car, but I wasn't sure what was wrong. When I came back to pick them up later, they were silent the entire ride home. After dropping her off, I asked my brother if everything was okay, and he freaked out at me. He told me everything was my fault, and he's be lucky if she ever spoke to him again. Apparently he hadn't told her he accepted the offer yet because he knew she was going to be mad. He had told my parents that she knew, because my parents felt strongly about not allowing her to be controlling, and he didn't want to deal with nagging anymore, and I'm close with my mom, so that's the last I'd heard. I know that sounds like an excuse, but I never would have said what I said if I'd I knew it was a secret. 
I knew she wanted him to stay home for college, because they got in a fight in front of me in the summer when he mentioned applying. If I had just connected the dots and kept my mouth shut, my brother wouldn't hate me and I wouldn't have ruined his first relationship. I'm not sure how to apologize, the two of us were very close before this, and now he won't even look at me. I really fcked up. Too long did not read. My brother was keeping his college decision a secret from his girlfriend and I spilled the beans, which caused the break up and now he hates me. You did good, your brother just dodged a bullet there, he will realize it eventually. Real talk. You did God's work with that fuck up, if she's that controlling that she won't let him better himself he's better off not with her. That's not an excuse, that's a valid reason for saying a thing. Your brother fucked up, you did not. This was a terrible relationship that was doomed. The worst thing that could have happened was, he might have skipped out on the college to stay with her, and that would have been horrible. I'm slightly concerned that he's lying to people about this stuff. Not to cast aspersions on him, but have you double-checked that he's accepting and filling out forms and whatever? I would hate for you to find out in a couple of months that he let some deadlines lapse so that, oops, guess I'll have to stay here and go to college in the hometown and stay with the girlfriend. If you can do so politely and without prying, might not be the worst idea to double-check. He'll get over it for sure but for now just let him be. It was an honest mistake and definitely sounds like something that had happened to me. You saved your brother, he just isn't old enough to realize it yet. Just wait a few months to make sure his ex isn't pregnant. Gonna sound super dramatic but consider this divine intervention. He's gonna thank you and your parents for this someday. The little twat doesn't want him to move two whole hours away to go to college? You know why? She wants to trap him and she has a fear of missing out. It never crossed her mind to come up with a plan so she could also attend college. Her thought was just to keep him from getting ahead without her. You did him a favor. Seriously they are 17. That is so ridiculous she wants to control him like that so it sounds like it's for the best. Be honest though, you said that on purpose when she was around didn't you? Today I fucked up by ordering pizza to my girlfriend. So my girlfriend set into her periods yesterday and I thought let me do something good for her. We are in a long distance so I couldn't just go there and do something, so I thought let me order some pizza and a cupcake and give her a nice surprise. Pretty safe and good idea right? But hold by beer folks. Now my girlfriend is fugal with money, in a very sensible way. She is a studio potter and ceramic artist, started in 2018, so she's not earning much right now. Struggle of rising artists you know. Never have asked any expensive gifts from me, no stupid extra expense. So when this pizza reaches to her, she's on fire. Did I not tell you how hot-headed she is? Why did you order, I'm not hungry, you could have used this money to something else. Do you even have any idea how much I save for the things I need for my pottery, and list goes on. I tried to save myself by explaining her that I thought she might have that hunger craves and she would have liked the gesture, but all in vain. So yes, it's almost 24 hours and she's upset with me. Pizza can not always save you boys. Too long did not read. I ordered pizza for my girlfriend and she got upset because she's of the opinion that it's unnecessary expense that could have been saved. Bet you she ate the pizza anyways. That's a little extreme. She could have just said thanks skeptical smiley face. You have different love languages but she shouldn't shit on yours. Red flags a waving brother. Hmm. I'm very sorry. I think she might need to talk to a therapist. That's an extreme reaction to something you did out of kindness. Also I love pizza when I'm on my period lmao. Oof that's really sad. I would have loved it. I'm sure she has a fridge. Pizza can be stored for consumption at a later date when the hunger craves begin. We found her guys, the one person in the world who doesn't like a surprise pizza, you can all go home now.